Welcome back to another episode of the Kevin Madaw Show. So today, I'm going to do a very, very special episode of the Kevin Madaw Show. It is going to be a three-season episode review. So, season one, let's start with season one of Daredevil. Season one gives you the classic origin story of Daredevil. <clears throat> Man in the Mask and taking down with Wilson Fisk. Some flashbacks of both Wilson Fisk as kid, Wilson Fisk falling in love with Vanessa, the whole, we get stick, and it's the same stick that was in both the first Daredevil, and the one with Elektra, which I will always call that Daredevil 2, for two reasons. I'm not getting into those two reasons right now. But anyways, yeah. And we get the young version. We the same storyline as... The movie, his father dies, he gets blinded by chemicals, and saves a guy. And then his father dies, um, his father wins a match and dies because of that, you know. And, yeah. So that's pretty much, oh, and the taking down, uh, and taking down Wilson. Bisque and whatnot, and Foggy gets introduced, and get he no he figures out that Matt Murdock is the man in the mask. Later, becomes Daredevil, aka the Devil of Hell's Kitchen. Now, getting into Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones is a good show. The girl, he, the, I don't know her name, but um, I know she's a good actress. And she's funny as hell. This is... This does not ruin her acting ability whatsoever. I mean, she's amazing. Her, I, I feel like she was born to play this role. You know, this role. Because, yeah, she was good in Don't Trust the Bitch in Apartment 23. But she fucking killed this part. I mean, she's funny. But, she's serious, you know. You gotta have some seriousness to it, you know. We get flashbacks to when she got her powers, or what might have ca caused her abilities. So we get flashbacks of when she was under Kilgrave's mind control. We get a flashback to. How she was relieved of Kilgrave's control. And we get an indication that she killed Luke Cage's wife. And uh, what not. And it was a... I would say it was pretty much a 
Luke Cage preview, I guess, and whatnot. And she takes down Kilgrave. She exposes him as well, and then takes him down. Which was not bad. Her planning was perfect, I guess. <laughs> And, yeah, just a good show. Season 1, uh, now getting into Luke Cage Season 1, we get references to both. It starts off with the reference to Jessica Jones, because that's where it all began for Luke Cage. Technically speaking. And so, yeah. We get, later on, we get references to when, when he comes, when he, when Luke Cage disappears, we start to see that he, we calls some events. Or, well, technically, when he gets that his building blown up by Cotton Mouth, uh, we see flashbacks of how he got his abilities or his power. We get a ref we get a flashback to when he was in jail or in prison. We get we get the whole origin story in a good flashback. Um, a innocent convict Put into a program and comes out with abilities and saves people in the process. And might I not add, might, might I add, we get the iconic comic book costume. The whole crown thing, the whole neon suit, uh, button down suit, and the pants as well. That was very iconic, which I was glad about. And the whole Daredevil reference of season one. And they did have a Punisher reference too. So, there you go. <laughs> and now, oh, and he goes back to Georgia to do his pr prison time. And we all know what happens after that. <laughs> AKA the Defenders. <laughs> and so, now getting back into season two of Daredevil. We, it so it we pick up where Daredevil season one ended off pretty much and so we get introduced to the Punisher Frank Castle and that the first half of the of season one is trying to take down Frank Castle. Frank Castle is finally taken down and Electra comes into play right after. Go figure. And then the second half of Daredevil 
we see him reconnecting with Electra and trying to not tell the whole him, his other partner, Karen Page, what's going on because he has a whole secret identity to uphold. <clears throat> Frank Castle helps him and eventually I'm guessing he becomes the hero. I guess. So he's out in the limelight now. And the whole hey, what do we do thing, you know. Electra dies and we know what happens after that. And that's all I have for you guys today. Have a good day. Please like, subscribe, and have a good day. Bye.